Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, oh gosh, sorry, I'm a bit cold. Um, I've got goosebumps. Um, yeah, so we did um, the September roundup. Um, I decided that day to start on the cabinet because I really, really like that one. Um, so I did make a start on that. Um, let me see if I can find it to show you. And this was it. So, um, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry folks, bear with me one second. I've got everything else out ready, just not that one. Um, no, it's not that one. Where is it gone? I think it's this one. Let's check. Yes, yes, this is the one. Okay. So I did a naughty and I left a needle here and I don't know what it goes to. Um, so yeah, I started the cabinet, which is, hold on. I'm really not very organized, am I? Which is this one. Um, really, really like this pattern. So yeah, I started this one on the 30th, so I was naughty. But I needed cheering up because I felt like rubbish. So, uh, let's move this needle here. I think I can probably figure out what that goes to. We'll see. Right, okay, so I did some work along the bottom here of the cabinet. All along there and then uh, I did a few bits in up the top here not up the top but sort of about halfway up so yeah just did a little bit um, so that was what I worked on on the 30th of September um, so the next one that I worked on was um, the fox because I got given free choice on the first so oh hang on I've left that thread out but and I could do without doing that there we go okay so yeah um I worked on the fox and I've done it again and left a needle never mind Move it over there so oh gosh um <clears throat> i added in some of the reds here um coming down and i believe this is like the bottom of his tail um oh my gosh everything is alive um and then i have worked um this here these lighter colors some red in there these lighter colours uh, and some darker colour here. So, one second. There we go. Just moving everything because Millie wanted to lie on the sofa. So, I was moving everything out of her way. So, the fox oh, was this one. Lovely, lovely picture. So yeah, that was the top that I worked on on the first. And then I did a wheel spin yesterday that I totally forgot to tell you guys about. And it landed on the witch's hat, which is this one.
so yeah I worked on this one yesterday and last night and this morning um, so let's see what we've done here so I've added in oh, we've got a, a milli hair poking out there Honestly, everything is just alive and wants to escape. Um, okay, so there's some blue added in sort of around here. A bit of a brownie purpley colour there. Um, and then we have some purples, blue, grey, greeny tones added in there. Some of the, the uh, purple and that up here and a little bit down here. So that was the witch's hat. So we're going to do a spin and see which one we come up with today. Let's have a look. I'm really cold, folks. I may have to close my back door because I really am a little bit chilly. here we go so there we are we have everything there we have the the fox uh, the star the witch's hat the cauldron the autumn house and the cabinet and then we have two free choice so thank you very much for that yeah great um so let's see what we're going to work on for today it's going to land on free choice so I might start the autumn house folks yes I'm going to start the autumn house so I will get that sorted and I'll be right back okay folks I am back so this here is the autumn house or the autumn cottage or whatever you want to call it. I'm it's not a very good picture anyway to be fair but yeah that's um that's the one that i've chosen for my free choice uh so we are gonna be working up here so hang on let me just clip this Going to be a pain to keep a hold of. So, give me one second, folks. See, I was, you know, saying I was going to be ready. I'm obviously not ready, am I? Because I'm still messing about with things. There we go. Right. So, we are going to be working here in this green symbol, which is colour number 3854. And it is this sort of tan-ish colour. Uh, this is in the trees, I believe. So, yeah. So how is everybody? What's everybody been up to? Um, I'm feeling a bit better now. Um... Still not 100%, I still felt a bit wobbly earlier on, a bit, bit dizzy sort of thing, but yeah, I'm loads better. I'm not sneezing my head off anymore like I was, which is good. Uh, so I had an issue with the um, new medication that they put me on. Um... I was having, I don't know if it's like an allergic reaction or if it's just one of the side effects that gets noted. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't really get any answers when I asked about that. Um, but basically, I mean, the headaches, yeah, they're not very nice. Um, they are one of the symptoms. And they put me down to one tablet a day instead of two. Um which was great, you know, the headaches kind of wore off, uh, you know, it, it, and it was okay for a few days. But just before that, my skin was so itchy, it, 
I was almost in tears. You know, it, it really was not pleasant. And I tried to put up with it for as long as I could. I tried everything. I was moisturising. I was putting um, germaline on it, which has um, anaesthetic in it to try and stop the itch. Um, and then I also I tried hand sanitizer. My mum suggested that. Um, nothing really worked to stop this itching. Um, it was absolutely horrendous. Um, imagine having, you know, three or four different itchy patches on your body at the same time that you can't get rid of. It was driving me insane. So I spoke to the nursing team um, that I'm under and they told me to stop, stop taking the medication altogether. Um, if we're struggling to cope with it, then to stop. And I said, listen, I've tried to put up with it. I said, but it's got to the point now I'm breaking the skin and I'm making it bleed and I'm bruised because I'm scratching so much. It, 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 I couldn't cope. I could not cope with it. It just, no, it wasn't happening. So, um, yeah, they advised me to stop taking it all together. So I have. I have stopped taking the new medication that they put me on. And the itching is, you know, it's not completely gone away because it takes a while for this um, medication to get out of your system. But it is 90% better than it was so it was definitely the medication that was causing that uh, so uh, I am presuming I will now be put on to a different medication at some point um, I don't go back and see my nurse until um, the 8th of November so I don't know if something is going to be done before then, you know, if they're going to contact me and say, hey, can you come in? You know, we need to try something different. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's the itching is so much better. But now I'm just left with like, you know, obviously marks all over me where I've scratched and, you know, bruises on my leg where I've scratched and yeah it's just it was a nightmare um, but I seriously couldn't I tried to put up with it but I just couldn't cope in the end I, it was driving me mad so yeah at least that has stopped but now obviously I'm not on any of the medication that they they wanted to put me on I can't start on the methotrexate yet but I'm still waiting to hear from respiratory um, but apparently, so my mum told me today that um, all our consultants and things are on strike until Thursday. So I am not likely to hear from anybody before then. So that's all. That's that's good, isn't it, really? So, yeah, it's all a bit up in the air at the moment as to what's going to go on and what's going to happen. I really, really do not know. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Oh. Okay. Zoom you in a little bit there. So, yeah, it's still all up in the air as to what's going to happen. You know, I, I don't know really don't know it's just um bugging me at the moment because you know it's yeah it's just really bugging me um so i apologize if you can hear that noise in the background but it's my my dryer um i've been trying to make my way through a big mountain of washing that i have um so yeah, that's getting dried at the minute. There are some clothes in there that um, I need for tomorrow because I'm, I'm going out tomorrow for lunch. So, 
Yeah, me leaving the house for something other than going shopping. Can you believe it, guys? I mean, to be perfectly honest, I probably am going to have to take one of my don't panic because you're outside tablets. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So, yeah. That's where I'm at, folks. I've got my thimble on because my finger is really sore. And I love these thimbles because they're, you know, they're not, they're not a stiff thimble. You can wear it and still bend your finger fine. You know, it kind of molds to your finger kind of thing. So yeah, I like these ones. I've bought them a couple of times now. I always like to make sure I've got plenty because they come in different sizes and obviously some sizes I'm not going to be using. Um, you know, like the very, very small ones and the very, very big ones. Um, but there's a couple of sizes in between that that are okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I do keep buying them just to make sure that I have plenty because after a while um, the end bit here does sort of wear down and um, you can start to feel it in your finger again kind of thing um, or the um, the thimble makes like a clicking sound when you're pushing the needle through because the needle's getting caught in the silicon because it's it's thinned out so yeah usually when that happens i either sort of turn it round on my finger to a bit that isn't as worn down or i just put another one on because you know they're not going to last forever they are going to wear down but they are the best thimbles to use in my opinion i really really like them Oh, dearie me, I need to think about cooking something for tea, but I don't know what. I don't know what my children fancy. I just fancy something simple like cheese on toast or something. I don't know. We'll see what they say. So, <laughs> my daughter came in my bedroom to me this morning. I went back to bed after my son had gone to school. I was asleep and she came in, she woke me up and she went, Mum, there's a problem. I said, why, what's wrong? She says, well, there was a really loud bang at my bedroom window. I went, okay. That's a bit weird. She went, yeah, I thought it was somebody messing about and they kicked a ball. And it had gone, you know, up to my window and, and banged on the window. She says, but I've had a look. She says, it's a pigeon. And it's dead. I was like, right, okay, I'll come and look. So I came downstairs and went outside. And yeah, lo and behold, there was a, a dead pigeon in my backyard. So I had to um, collect that up and... Um, yeah, he went into the bin. So, that was that. No more pigeon. I think it must have broke its neck or something when it hit the window. Because it must have hit it with some force. So, yeah. Oh, something else I had to tell you guys. Do you remember a while back um, I told you that I had made a complaint about the cars speeding uh, down past my house on my street? Well, it seems that they took me seriously because today 
a man has been and put CCTV cameras up. Uh, one facing towards um, the factory and one facing away. So they will be able to catch them. So that's good news, at least something is being done, it might um, might stop them from speeding but I don't know if they're going to be aware of it because of, that technically they don't have to make them aware that the CCTV gone up. Um, but yeah, I wonder if, I wonder how long it will take them to realise that it's there if, you know, Um, yeah, if they if they haven't been told specifically, I wonder how long it'll take them to realise. But at least it should slow them all down once they all get to know that it's there. Because obviously the police can um, track people's number plates and and such. So. Yeah. That was one piece of good news today. Uh, my mum and dad have been around. My dad has cut my front lawn for me. And in return, I helped him sort out his car insurance because he was having trouble getting it to, um, getting it to work so that he could pay. So I've managed to sort that out for him. So yeah. Millie is snoring. As per usual. I may have to go and have an hour's sleep. Um, although I do need to sleep tonight because obviously you know I'm going out tomorrow I've got to um, sort of get myself up and ready and out of the house um, at about 20 past 9 I'll be leaving well no about quarter past 9 10 past maybe um, so yeah I uh I do need to get some sleep tonight. Um, failing that, I'll just, you know, if I, if I don't sleep, then it's fine. I'll just sleep when I get home tomorrow evening. I say evening, I don't know. I don't actually know what time I'll be coming home. I'm not entirely sure. There's my Amazon delivery, just come through the door. I ordered a, um, a couple of bits for my junk journaling. I am going to have to get a new notebook though at some point because um, I have almost filled my other one. I may well do some junk journaling tonight, seeing as I have some new bits and pieces to to add in it. <clears throat> Ouch. Just stabbed my finger underneath the canvas, the one that I use to control my needle when it comes through. I just stabbed myself. So that was clever. So what's everybody else working on? Has anybody else got any Halloween type 
projects, any spooky projects or autumn projects that you're working on. Um, I'm still toying with the idea of adding, um, or creating, I should say, not adding, creating a Facebook page. Um, yeah, because then that way you guys can all, you know, show me what you're working on on there. Um, I won't be posting my videos to it. I'll just keep my videos to YouTube, but it will be a place where obviously people can, you know, show me what they're working on and what they've completed and all of that good stuff. You know, I would like to see what you guys work on. So, yeah, I'm still um, twinging with that idea, shall we say. I might put a poll up, actually, later on and ask how many of you would, would like me to add a Facebook page. This thread is getting a little bit short now. I'll just just do these stitches with the up and down method. I think that's it. I don't think we can um, squeeze any more out of that. So, yeah. There we go. So, we got that little bit there done, folks. I'll carry on with this now. Um, probably work my way through this green here to be fair down this side yep. and then I might move on to this I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see what takes my fancy so yeah there we go folks um, that is what I'm going to be working on for tonight and well I'm not going to get any done in the morning am I because I've got to go out so. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on for tonight. Um, we'll see what we can get done on that. Um, but I am going to leave it there for now, folks. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate everybody, as you all know. Um, so if you like this video, please do give it a like. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and um if you can think of anybody else that might enjoy my videos then please do give me a share um so until tomorrow well no it probably won't be tomorrow because obviously i'm going out um it will probably be thursday now um so yeah until then folks um take care of yourselves and each other okay bye bye